respected elders, educationists, their teachers and their students. First and foremost, it's my kind request that those who have been subscribed our channel so far, my kindly subscribe it. Dear students, in this class we are going to see the main 11 uses of wood. Come, let us see them. Works we are right. Verbs. Part 5. B. 11 main uses of wood. Video 215. Dated 24-12-2023 First of all, this, the pronunciation of this verb, uh, I mean, uh, the, this word. O, C, E, L, E. Again, O, C, E, Air E O C E Air E Oxalary 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 I in the syllable five syllables there are five syllables in this word Oxalary verbs Oxalary Part five B What its pronunciation is O, O, U, it. See? This, it, 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 it is letter W, but it, it is, uh, this symbol represents the phoneme. O, O. It is U. It represents it. Wood. Wood acts as the persons of will and works very of the tense. When wood acts, as the persons of will, it, it, it acts, it functions as the persons of the will. It acts as the persons of will in the tense. And also it acts, and also it acts, it functions as a mood of luxury. So, like, like, like all other modal luxuries, auxiliaries, would also, uh, would also does two function. Does two functions only? It acts as an auxiliary of the tense. As, a, as an auxiliary of the tense. That is the first auxiliary of will. And also, would acts as a mode of auxiliary, used to express the past events of the future in all persons. That is. He said, see, it is used for all persons. Would, would is used for all tenses and for the past tense. Past and past to perfect. And also in, um, I mean, present, uh, you know, to express ideas. In present also it is used. Would is used in all the three, uh, I mean, except the future. In, even for future to in some other, it is used. It is also, it is used in all, all the three tenses, I mean in all the, uh, mainly in some of the three or four tenses, and in all the three places, the first person, second person, and third person. He said to me, I shall meet you tomorrow, direct speech. He told me that he would meet me the next day, in direct speech, you see, here shall, first person. In indirect speech, the shall gets changed, shall gets changed. To or. So it, 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 it refers here, would represents tense. It, here it is used as a as an auxiliary of the tense. Here it has not been used as a modal auxiliary. Would is the persons of shell. Or will and shell. Would is the persons. When, uh, uh, when, shall, when the subject changes from first person to second and third person, then the shell would, would change into will and then its process would. 
forms are put in affirmatives, negatives, interrogatives, and the negative interrogatives. You know, on in the, all these four forms, in all these four uses, the forms of would, affirmative would, negative would not, uh, wouldn't, to service, wouldn't, interrogative, would I, for all things of would I do it? Negative interrogative. Would I not do it? Would I not do it? Or won't I do it? Would I not do it? Or won't I do it? Instead of I, we can use all the seven pronouns and any kind of pronoun. Would is always followed by the by infinitive. Dear students, in, in, in every class of the auxiliary verbs, I am, I am telling you, I am using to tell you, it is the, I mean, full auxiliary, full infinity means the present tense verb preceded by two, I mean two precedes, two precedes the present verb, it is full infinity. When the present verb stands without the two, it is called, it, it is told bare infinity. It stands alone. Bare means without without any soldiers, without any help. It stands alone. You would get good marks if you worked harder. Expression of advice here would get a bare infinity. Then we are going to see here. Here I have given some eleven uses. Let us see them. Uses of wood. As it has already been uh, noted, wood is the past equivalent of will when will is used for the ordinary future. So that is, that is wood is the equivalent of past equivalent of wood is the past equivalent of will. Will when it is used as an auxiliary of the tense. When it is used, when, when will is used for the ordinary future. He knows he will be late. Simple future tense. He knows he will be late. Simple future tense. He knew he would be late. Past tense. He knows future. He knew past past. He would be late. He knows he will be late. He knew he would be late. Second use, past intention or expectation. Would is used to express the past intention or expectation of the speaker. I said I will help him. Direct. I said that I would help him. That is, will. Simple future in the would. Past sense of would. I mean, past sense of will. Would. I said I will help him. I said that I would help you. So this will has changed into would. It is it, it, here it represents the future. It is the it, it, it is the past equivalent of will. He said, I won't lend you a penny, not penny. Pen a penny. He said, I won't lend you a penny. He said that he wouldn't lend me a penny. He said that he wouldn't lend me a penny. It is won't. It is wouldn't. Won't, wouldn't. Post intention and post expectation. Third use. Would is used to express uh, a, an imagination. Imagined past, say the imagination, the imagined, the imaginations of the past. Used when talking about the result of a possible or imagined situations or events or describing one thing. That is, um, I mean, what is used to express the imagination. Possible or imagined situations to express the, the imagination is a simple thing to express the imagination or imagination 
what would you do if you won rubies one lakh expressing imagination what would you do if you i mean what would you do if you win i mean yes what would you do if you won it is possible possible so win what would you do if you won rubies one lakh imagination i would be amazed if i got the job imagination what would you do what would you do if you win i mean if you won rubies one lakh okay? imagination what would you do if, if you got uh, uh, rubies one lakh by any other by uh, from your lakh that is etc here i would be amazed if i got at the job if i got the job i would be wondered so imagine to express imagined situations for use used when talking about something that did not happen that is what is used to express some events that actually did not happen i would have phone i would have phone to you but there was no time i would have phone to you but i uh, there was no time that is i could not phone you because i could not uh, uh, phone to you i could not phone you because i did not have time expressing what did not happen he say to express the the um, the past even that did not happen what would have happened if i had not been tired see this way. what would have happened if i had not been tired perfect tense would plus perfect would plus perfect what would have happened if i had not been there that is these things did actually did not happen in the past so what is used to express something that did not happen in the past what is used to express something uh, that did not happen in the past that is used when talking about something that did not happen fifth use used to uh, mention an unlikely situation or event that you want to happen then again uh, what is used to express some situation which cannot happen which there is no possibility of that things to happen what is used to express something that does not have the possibility to happen what is used to express to i mean to express something some uh, i mean some events that does not have any possibility to happen or to happen i wish they would come they would come and visit us i wish they would come and visit us that means they are not they are not willing they are not willing to come and visit me i wish they would come and visit us that is i would like they should come and visit me but they are not willing so i wish that they would come and visit us it is my willingness but they are not ready to come and visit me expressing unlikely expectation sixth use used to say that something happened often or regularly in the past that is what is used to express something that happened regularly or period of uh, or often in the past what is used to express some event that happened often or regularly when we worked in the same office we would often have tea together when we worked together in the same office we would often have tea together that is expressing positive event that is when we were working when we were working in the same office in the past we used we used to go and we used to uh, often we used to go and have tea take tea together 
when we worked in the same office, we would often have tea together. That is, when we were working in the same office, we used to, uh, to take tea, to have tea often. To have tea together often. On summer evenings, they would sit out in the garden. So that is, they used, on, on summer evenings, they used, they would sit, they would sit out means, they used to sit out. On summer evenings, they used, the, I mean, on summer evenings, they would sit out in the garden. That is, on summer evenings, they used to sit out in the garden. Then requesting spoken. Spoken English. Request for a request to do something. I mean, um, um, for, 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 for requesting someone to do something. For requesting someone to do something politely. Used to ask someone politely to do something. Wood is used to ask someone politely to do something. Would you bring me some water? Would you bring me some water, please? Would you bring me some water? Would you mind waiting outside? Can you outside something? Would you mind waiting outside? Would someone please tell me what is going on? Please tell me what is going on. Would someone tell me what is going on? Please tell me what is going on here. Would you shut the window please? Would you shut the window please? That is, dear students, to ask someone Polite, to ask someone politely to do something, we should use wood. Very, very important use of wood. To ask someone to do, uh, to ask someone politely to do something, we should use wood. Would you bring me some water? Would you mind waiting outside? Would someone, uh, uh, would someone please tell me what's going on here? Would you shut the window, please? Would you shut the window, please? So, to give you a polite request. But to give, to ask someone politely to do something, we, we have to use, we must use wood. Offering or inviting. Dear students, I mean, uh, to give something, or to invite somebody to with, with politeness to offer something or to invite something politely we should use wood use to offer something to someone or invite them somewhere politely used uh, uh, to offer something to someone to offer something someone or invite them somewhere politely would you like a coffee that is would you like a coffee dear friend would you like a coffee would you like a coffee polite request we are going to the beach this evening would you be interested in coming that is dear friend today evening we are going to the beach would you like to would you like would you like to come with us? Would you be interested in coming or would you like to come with us? So, for offering or inviting someone politely, for offering something to someone or inviting someone politely, we should use wood. Then, past purpose, that is the purpose, in the, the past purpose, to, 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 I mean to express the past purpose, the intention of the past, to express the intention of the past, to express the purpose of the past, what is used? Used after, so that, to show that someone was a time to make something happen or prevent something, see? Wood is used. Uh, wood is used. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, 
after so that after so that uh, to say or to show that someone was trying to make something happen someone was trying to make something to happen or prevent something we packed all the books in wooden boxes so that they wouldn't get damaged we packed all the books we packed all the books in wooden boxes so that they won't get damaged see in order to keep the books in order to keep the books not damaged we packed them in a, in wooden boxes this, this is the message that is we packed all the books in wooden boxes so that they wouldn't get damaged in, a, in order to make the books not damaged we packed them in wooden boxes expressing post event then advice of spoken english tenth, uh, i mean tenth use advice of spoken english used when giving or asking for advice so what is used either for giving asking and for giving advice or asking advice used when giving or asking advice you would get good marks if you worked harder giving advice would you help me if i needed your help would you help me if i needed your help so asking is advice asking that advice okay so for uh, is spoken in it is only it is used only in spoken english what is used for either for giving advice or uh, asking advice used in if plus type 2 and 3 so the, that is what is used in if plus type 2 and type 3 if plus type 2 if you worked harder if you worked harder you would get good marks it is possible so recording i mean recording say uh, about uh, if plus second day if plus second day can be used to express a possible action as well as an improbable event if plus uh, if plus type 2 can be used either for a possible event or a, for an improbable event for for the text plus for the events uh, second class uh, i mean if plus second type can be used here is the possible type if you worked harder you if you worked harder you get marks that is in the event of working hard you you you, you, you will get good marks if plus that type it is used to express impossibility if you had worked harder you would have got good marks impossible that is if you had worked harder you would have got good marks that is you did what does it mean it means you did not work hard so you did not get good marks you did not work hard you did not get good marks this idea can be expressed in if class that type that is if you had worked harder you would have got good marks okay my dear students dear teachers thus we have seen the main uses of the main 11 uses of or to express various kinds of modality various kinds of mood what is very very important to express various kinds of mood what is very very important so dear students and teachers so i have given only 11 yet there are some more but i have selected the main uses i have given so it is my kind request to my to my children that is to my students practice it the 11 and 11 11 cutting side i have given the uses so kindly learn them okay i mean kindly keep the memory and so thoroughly you can speak and write english correctly speak english so fluently 
and the right deviation. So, so I respected elders. Education is today teaches to their students. I thank all of you for listening my class regarding the issues of the model actionary would. I thank all of you for listening my class and also I wish all of you a very nice and sweet time till I meet you in the following class. Thank you.